Hello. Here we'll talk about the Perclose device, which is suture-based, sealing accesses up to 8 French, or up to 21 French if you use 2. To accomplish closure, a suture needs to pass through the arteriotomy site like this. But how do we actually accomplish that? Well, the Perclose does so by starting life in two parts. The inner segment is passed inside the arteriotomy site, and the outer sutures are positioned above. Then, with some very clever engineering and using needles, the outer segment is pierced and escorted through the walls of the artery. The inner white sutures are shown by the footplate. They are pulled up against the arteriotomy wall, and with needles, the outer sutures are linked up to the inside. The knot is tightened, and the perclose can be removed in the process. Though the perclose does have a number of steps, it is well worth learning them. Once you repeat it, with a number of patients, you will become very comfortable and adept at it. Let's go through the steps in detail. The perclosed device comes in three parts, the actual device, the tamper portion, which threads the suture, and finally the cutter. Now the first step is to advance the device over a J-wire into the arteriotomy site. And keep going until the segment with the two white triangles that you see here up close is almost at the entry point. And when you get there, remove your J-wire entirely and save it for later. Continue to advance the perclose into the artery. You will meet some resistance and there may be a jump. You will see blood spurting from the side arm. It is now time to open the foot Lift up from the handles, pull up until the foot is by the arteriotomy And now you are ready to deploy the needles with firm sudden pressure And while firmly holding the device, you will pull back on the needle apparatus, exposing the sutures as they come back. And you will bring the sutures over and using a violin action, you will withdraw until the suture is cut. Now you can close the foot back down. And you can begin to carefully withdraw the device, exposing sutures as you see here. Gently start to pull out the sutures from the top end until they are all the way out. Set aside the suture with a white tip. You will come back to that later. Pick up the remaining suture. And now you're going to be threading this through your tamper device. Pass your suture through the device. And then withdraw the white attachment. And this, as you watch, will 
thread the suture through the eye. With your left hand, start to loop several times and hold the suture gently but firmly. And with your thumb, place the tamper inside the arteriotomy site. The white triangle now can be fed the J wire. Advance it well in so that you can control the access. And as you've done so, you can start to withdraw the per close device while holding gentle tension on the suture and holding the tamper at the arteriotomy site. Don't fret if there is some bleeding. Just gently move the tamper around and hold gentle tension and allow hemostasis to occur. You can test your suture by removing the tamper while maintaining tension and put it back in. If you're happy, remove the wire and once again, keeping tension, remove the tamper and see if you have hemostasis. And if you do, then you're ready to tie the knot and complete this. It has to be only gentle tension on the second suture and just hold for a moment and then remove the tamper and here you have your hemostasis over the arteriotomy. I will pick up the cutter. It has a black button on the side which deploys and releases a latch that will pick up and hold on to your sutures. Here it is in close up. You will pick up the sutures with one hand, hold them together and come from behind and the right and pick up the sutures inside the latch. Hold on to them, turn to face the arteriotomy, moving parallel to your sutures and using the red button you will make the cut and now your knot is complete. And finally I would like to very quickly show you the needle introducer device that we used to press upon and puncture the arteriotomy and deliver the sutures. If you pick this up and look at it closely, here are the needles and if you look in closer as we zoom in, you will see the connection points. Here's one. And here's the other. Calcification can make deployment of a perclose challenging due to the difficulties in the needles piercing through the calcium. If that happens and it fails, you can rotate a second perclose and try again, or alternatively try a different approach. Thank you very much for your attention.